Good evening. You're watching the news on Croatian television. President Kolinda Graber Kitarovic arrived in the southern Chilean city of Punta Arenas as she continues her tour of South America. Earlier in Santiago, the president and her counterpart, Sebastián Piñera, agreed to strengthen the economic cooperation between their two countries. Prior to leaving for Patagonia, the president was the guest of honor at a gala dinner hosted by Santiago's Croatian community. In local news, Prime Minister Andrei Plenković is on a tour of southern Croatia. The Prime Minister made a stop in Orebic on the Pelješac Peninsula to visit a primary school built using EU funds and attend the famous Oyster Festival in the town of Ston. More than 60% of Croatia's shellfish production is here in Ston. The government and its ministers are actively involved in creating the legal framework and providing concrete support so that their business can be as successful as possible. HDZ party secretary Gordan Jandrokovic doubts there will be any significant divisions within party ranks regarding the controversial Istanbul Convention. Jandorokovic said after a party meeting in Osijek that the HDZ was a large party whose members have differing opinions, but it was something they have never tried to hide nor suppress. After a well-argumented debate, it is completely clear that the vast majority of party members agree with the policies of the HDZ president, Andrei Plenković. Our task is to continue to deliberate so that we can come to an agreement that maintains a general consensus within the HDZ and ensures that the government can continue to function normally until the end of its mandate. Meanwhile, the Most Party presented their Stay in Croatia program to an audience in the Dalmatian town of Solin. The initiative aims to help keep young people in the country by implementing reforms and strengthening economic development. Party President Bojo Petrov believes the government is using the Istanbul Convention to distract citizens from the real issues plaguing the country. The main reason they are debating the Istanbul Convention is so that Mr. Plenković can distract us from what's really going on inside Agrikor and the issues surrounding Martina Dalic. The real problems facing Croatia are the failure to implement reforms and the departure of young people. Those are the issues. The Stay in Croatia initiative and our legislative proposals are the only things that can steer Croatia in the right direction. The Franjo Tuđman Military Academy has partnered with the University of Split to offer a new naval studies program beginning this fall. Graduates will be offered guaranteed jobs and a monthly salary of nearly 1,000 euros. Defense Minister Damir Krstičević was on hand in Split to discuss the new program and speak with interested students. I believe this will give us a chance to select the very best students, and in five years' time we will have some highly educated naval officers who will be in positions of command in the service of their country, their Croatia. I definitely want to stay in Croatia to live and work here. A guaranteed job after graduation is very important to me. Torrential rains around the country are adding to an already serious flood problem for the Lika, Karlovac and Sisak Moslovina counties. Emergency personnel, including Dragan Lozancic, the director of the State Administration for Protection and Rescue, are on the ground in the village of Kosin on the Lika River. Also, peak water levels are expected in the coming days for parts of the Sava and Una rivers between Sisak and Yasenovac. The local civil protection and rescue services are very well prepared. Nearly all of their operatives are here on the ground, between 80 and 150 individuals, and they are very capable of handling the situation. There is no need for panic. I think the situation is under control. In Hrvatska Kostajnica, extra precautions are again in place as the level of the Una River has risen slightly after dropping for the past three days. Meanwhile, the government once again stood firmly behind their promise to help the people who lost their homes after last week's devastating landslide. We will go there in person to visit them and see exactly what their needs are. We will speak with everyone and with every family individually, because every problem is unique. We will help everyone in need. Taking a quick look at sports, Dino Sokolovic won the gold medal at the Winter Paralympic Games with a sensational win in the men's slalom sitting event in Pyeongchang, South Korea. 
Yesterday, Croatia claimed its first ever medal at the Games when Bruno Bosniak took home the bronze medal in snowboarding. I really didn't expect this, especially since I came in third after the first run. I made quite a few mistakes in the second run because there were lots of ruts in the snow, but I did it. This time, luck was on my side. In the quarterfinals of the regional EBEL Hockey League playoffs, Medvedchuk was hammered by the Black Wings for the second game in a row, losing last night in Linz 8-4. Luckily, the Bears have been playing well on home ice and are back in Zagreb for games 5 and 6 on Monday and Tuesday, with the seven-game series tied up at two games apiece. The weather forecast for tomorrow will be changeable for most of the Adriatic coast, while the interior will be mostly cloudy. Rain and snow flurries are expected to begin overnight and into the morning. More snow is expected late on Monday afternoon and into the evening. The central and southern coast will get a northwesterly and westerly wind, switching to a southeasterly around midday that will gain strength towards evening. Northern areas can expect a moderate to strong northeasterly, with gale force gusts near the Velebi Channel in the evening and at night. Morning lows of minus 4 to 1 degree inland and from 5 to 12 on the coast will give way to highs of 0 to 5 inland and from 9 to 14 degrees Celsius on the coast. The forecast for the next few days in continental regions will be much colder, with temperatures dipping below zero, especially on Monday. Isolated snow flurries are expected, but mostly in higher elevations. As for the coast, cold weather will affect the north as well to start the week. Strong northeasterly winds will lower temperatures for the central and southern coast by midweek. Rain is likely on Monday, but mostly in Dalmatia on Tuesday and on Wednesday. And that brings us to the end of our program. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow night.